Hello friends, Tony here, so welcome back. In this video I'm going to connect the domain with our uh, VPS server. And I have a domain here, so called with Tony.dev. And right now nothing is in here, just uh, I have by that this domain in a name chip and we have a default name chip page. Okay, uh, I use Cloudflare to manage the domain's DNS. And let's open the, I'm going to open also the hosting here and also open the terminal. Okay, and let's uh, log in to our uh, Tony, add the passphrase and hit enter. And yeah, we are here, Tony at TonyJapa.dev. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the host name uh, information and we can do that by saying sudo hostname ctl and uh, this command is going to show us the hostname information so if I hit enter here we need to add the password for Tony okay and here is the information so static hostname is tonyjava.dev operating system is Ubuntu kernel is a Linux architecture is x86 64 and so on but if you want to change that so for example you if you have the ip here instead of this tonyjava.dev or if you have a local host and uh, we can do that by saying sudo in our terminal so right now we are inside the vps server okay so tony at tonyjava.dev and i'm going to say hostname ctl and i'm going to say set dash hostname and the name you want. Because I have this, uh, I'm going to connect the code with Tony.dev domain here. I'm going to say code with Tony. So sudo hostname ctl set dash hostname and the name. What you prefer, I'm going to say code with Tony here. Okay, and hit enter. And as you can see, right now, nothing changed. So if I close this, okay, so here I have opened a new terminal and I'm going to log in again to Tony, hit enter, enter your uh, fast phrase here and hit enter again. And now, as you can see, we have uh, Tony at code with Tony. Now code with Tony is the, our host name. If we say sudo host name again, so host name, ctl hit enter add the password and as you can see the static host name is called with tony good now we changed the host name let's connect the domain with our uh, vps server so here in the hostinger we have the vps information we have the ip address uh, current os and so on but what we need is this current this uh, ip address i'm going to open the Cloudflare, and as I told you, I use a Cloudflare to manage DNS records. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this one. I'm going to change the IP address here. Okay, what we can do is to add our server IP address. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And just to show you, if I open, yeah, I showed you before, so let's just paste that one also you can say uh, you can see here use add for a uh, root so we can say just add here and now save now this is going to take uh it needs uh, some hours to take effect so right now if i come here and just refresh it's not going to change but after some hours it's going to take effect also because we are here let's go to settings in our VPS and we have IP address here and I have also the IP version 6 so let's add also the IP version 6 to our uh, DNS so I'll go to cloud there and I'm going to add a new record here and for the you know IP version 6 we need to choose the AAAA -A -A -A. and also here I'm going to choose add and the IP version 6 address so just paste that in and hit save 
Okay, now as I told you, this is going to take some uh, time to take effect and we will take a look in the next video. But because we are here, uh, I'm going to show you a new tool in uh, Linux to monitor the network bandwidth. Okay, so I'm going to close, uh, not close this, I'm going to open a new tab in here and I'm going to paste the URL. So, okay, so here I have open an uh, article in uh, TechMint. So, NetHawks, monitor Linux network traffic usage per process. And what is the NetHawks? NetHawks is an open source command line program similar to Linux top command that is used to monitor real-time network traffic bandwidth used by each process or application in Linux. And let's see down there how we can install that in our uh, Ubuntu. So installing NetHawks in Ubuntu. Let's copy this command here. And let's open the terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. OK. Next, turn on the NetHawks utility, type the following command under the Red Hat based system or on Debian based system room sudo. So let's copy this and paste in our uh, terminal. So I'm going to clean this first and paste that in. Hit enter. And as you can see, here we have the PID, the user is Tony, and we have a sent and received in kilobytes. As we can see, the root user has zero, zero, but only Tony is logged in right now and is going to send and receive uh, bandwidth. Okay, now let's come here and, for example, to set the uh, five seconds, as you refresh rate, you can say dash D plug and five for five seconds as uh, you refresh rate. Also, let's see down there, the monitor specific device. We have some flags here dash D, delay for refresh rate, list available command. Let's scroll down, we can hit the Q to quit, so let's try that. Yeah, it's going to quit, and let's clean, let's shoot on the hooks again, quit, yeah, it's going to work. Okay friends, so that's it all about this video, I just wanted to show you how we can connect the domain with our VPS server and also how you can change the host name in what you like and also i showed you this nethox tool to monitor the real-time network traffic bandwidth used by each process or application in our server if you like such a video friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much